Welcome back, friends and fans, to another Gage of Hell video here. I am Dark Plays, and here we are now on our, what, 15th episode on Called Arms Gates of Hell series. I think I've honestly lost count. One against the Russians, one too many times nowadays. Um, wow, this series certainly coming to a quite a, like, three or four climaxes just right after each other, where... We had the advantage, and then we didn't, and then we did, and then we didn't, and now we're back at it. Back on the offensive. That last round, we barely lost anything. We have developed some new tactics. Still kept my RTS, uh, my training up and playing a lot of Steel Division, so I've been, been doing my best as, as much as I can there. Um, of course, the strategy is a little bit different, a little bit smaller here, but still, you know, I'm going against difficult AI and, and trying to keep myself trained up because it's... Got a long road ahead of us still. Um, without further ado, let's get this let's get this uh, this mission up and going. So, uh, conquest dynamic campaign continue campaign. This should be the one that we were just working on. And boy, oh boy, am I excited! So, on the last episode, that we didn't really have any comments on um, what people really wanted to see from me. So I thought, hey, you know what? Let's take this as a freebie episode and just kind of do whatever we want to do. Um, so this is this is the group that has a ton of penetration and say here we have the uh, We can compare the armor of our armor to the kv ones here um, So the penetration wow the ken is a lot worse, but 10 to 106 um, So I'm assuming about 106 here and Somewhere maybe like here so on the sides that we can get a, if we're pretty lucky we can get a nice shot on them over there um so what I would not mind doing at all is kind of investing into our tanks a little bit. Um, getting this flame tank, I would not mind whatsoever. And then kind of going into our um, our call-in stages next would be nice uh, after we kind of start focusing on uh, our infantry. So we don't have a lot of this kind of stuff. Um, so we don't have like scout sections, we don't have marksmen, we barely even have a regular uh, rifle squad here. Um, because we have this, but we need the more advanced version over here. So I wouldn't mind getting myself a little bit of a rifle squad and uh, maybe just a little bit of a uh, uh, scout section so we can get our uh, our commandos. Um, of course, next I would imagine that we'd probably want to get our uh, our heavy cannon, this uh, this uh, 75k40. Um, oh my word, this this has so much penetration on it. I cannot tell you how much that sounds wrong, but you know what? I'll roll with it. Uh, so we're going to research the selected and try to reorganize our uh, our, our little get up here. So on the third one, we have our tanks are kind of like our heavy stuff. I'm going to throw our T-70 in there because that's really important for us especially. Um, we also have this extra AT cannon. Surprisingly, based on the millimeter, the 76, and how long the barrel is, our little short barrel is significantly better. Um... I did not really suspect that. I'm pretty sure that this is recreated exactly in Steel Division, and this has, oh boy, excuse me, um, hundreds of meters, millimeters of penetration. But you know what? I'll let it go. <laughs> um, I'm not really too terribly concerned about it. Uh, we do also have these little trucks. Uh, I plan on really just selling these. This doesn't really do me a whole lot of good. Uh, I prefer a machine gun because it's way down low to the ground. Um, serves the same purpose, it's just a little bit lower. Here, this a lot more risk, and plus also, it actually takes up less room. Um, that is actually really funny, because there's more crew, it's a vehicle, and it's got way more machine guns. But this machine gun here takes up more room, that's very strange. Um, so I wouldn't mind just selling these, but we can keep them for now, just in case we take significant losses this time around. Um, this flame tank, since we are on the defensive now, this flame tank would be absolutely awesome to have. And considering how many points we have, let's go for it. Um, so there's some. Uh, and then we, if we want to, we could just sell the vehicles that we have because um, there's no really use for them. Um, and make sure that we are doing good on riflemen. I want to take, take a look at this new rifle squad that we got. Uh, I oftentimes forget that I could just click on this. Uh, and then it gives me, you know, like a detailed report on who these guys are. Um, these are still Mosins, but for commandos, our assault squad have way better we uh, weapons. Panzer Shrek team would not mind a Panzer Shrek team, not even lying. A Jaeger squad, ooh. I um, wonder if these are like Jaeger equivalents of or some kind. That's kind of interesting, but kind of seems like the uh, 
late game kind of like assault group kind of maybe I have no idea um, so this is our second rifle squad they actually have a machine gun and um, it beats this rifle squad here so I'm gonna take this rifle squad out I'm gonna buy this one which is only 101 points uh, that's actually kind of low-key awesome um, so we're going to throw this rifle squad in here uh, I don't know how useful the scout thing is because now we have this scout section. Um, it's very tiny, but they're out flare equivalent, so they're uh, they got long range and stuff like that. They can see very far, um, but of course this is a very specialist unit. It's kind of I've kind of hold it near and dear now. Um, it's kind of weird though because they consider a 150 millimeter flak flak Schneider or something like that. I don't really know what purpose it really serves other than the fact it can see super far. Um, there's no real gun on it, and the crew is actually kind of useful, and I have them hop off occasionally. Uh, but we'll just we'll just see where that takes us. Um, so we have our little cannon here. We have our little bike boy. Um, sadly, I don't think this man really serves much purpose anymore. We do have our ammo crate. Uh, we do have our medics, which I do prefer to have in our actual infantry slot here. Um, yeah, so we have about eight. So that's enough. That's a perfect amount for the... Uh, the uh, little scout section that we just bought or just researched um, here we go that's perfect for them yep so now we are filled up there and we still have about 22 points here um, so we have our flame tank we have this cannon um, I honestly prefer to take this cannon out and throw this bad boy in here uh, yep that uses this that uh, perfectly for us uh, and then this KHT 130 flame um, and we have about nine points left. Uh, let's see, what, where, what can we throw in there? Uh, we can throw in this machine gun. Um, so, sadly, we are... Com well, 69 again, nice. Um, sadly, we are completely out of room. Uh, we only have three points left over. So the next thing we do need to research is probably our next uh, call-in stage. Um, so I think we need ten command points, just for command squad and the medium defenses. Um... And so, yeah, I think we are set. Uh, first things first, though, we are going to need to spawn, uh, I think, the second one first because they have all the cannons, and that's what I really need um, for the defense. And then I would like to call out uh, the first one. The first one's very important as well for these heavy engineers. So let's save, and uh, we'll start the mission. Uh, low risk, they're attacking here now. Um, and let's, let's get started. Um, I'm honestly, I'm personally very excited. Oh, my volume, my volume is a little, a little low. Um, don't know if you guys have it on a little low for you as well. Um, but yeah, I'm, I am excited about this. Uh, we have, I think we fought here once before where we were fighting like on top of a hill and then we just, uh, a BA-10 took out my little tank and stuff like that. So I want to say we fought here before, I'm not sure, but very rugged terrain. Not quite urban, but very dense forest, some rocks, lots of lakes uh, here and there. Um, so this is definitely going to be an interesting one. I want to see what our defenses were going to look like as well. Um, so this makes me very happy. Uh, good to see, good to see. like to see it. Um, can't say too much else about it, though. Got some buildings kind of strewn about. Oh, wow, three points. Um, so, oh, wow. Hell yeah. Love this. So I have no idea where they're spawning, but it's obviously it's going to be opposite from us. Um, oh yeah. So let's get our cannons up as soon as humanly possible. Um, oh wow, we got horses. That is interesting to see. And these guys have a long ways to walk. Oh boy, I feel bad for these guys now. Um, Alright, let's get these things moving then. Um, I think next thing we'd want to probably try to do is, um, oh yeah, this is a perfect spot for our little AT cannon. Actually, a perfect spot might be here so we can get some nice side shots. Uh, then we get one, and we get our little engineers up and going. Um, engineer, and I have to select one of them because two of them won't do it. Here's our coastal cannon, um, and there's a wide open field, um, right over here. Uh, which is perfect for us to fire upon. Um, let's see here. Where is a good, good position? Right here. Let's try that. Um, get both of our engineers running over there. 
and let's see how well it goes. Perfect to get them moving. Um, and then we want to get uh, one set of medics over here, obviously, and then we want to get um, oh. definitely an LMG squad up and going uh, in a nice defensive position. We are spawning very far away, which makes me kind of sad. Um, and we need to make sure our mortar gets up there. We just need to spam all of our units forward at this point. Um, we do have a little, nice little defense force over here. I'm sure with this flank being so um, isolated, we're going to receive lots of units over here, over there, or uh, this uh, this western western point over here. Um, we're going to receive quite a bit of contact from over there. We have our scouts. Um, they do have anti-tank, which is very nice. Um, probably going to try to have them come over here. Um, if I'm being honest, and then I almost have enough points for our last and final call out. Um, but yeah, it is. Why can't this medic just go around? Hey. You can just walk around. You can keep running. Oh man, they I think they added even new like jogging and and sprinting animations. Yep, but this medic can come right over here. This map looks awesome. Uh, by the way, if any of the developers or any of the mod makers or anything like that are ever watching this, it's not as awesome. I've never seen horses before in, in games like this, especially like this, uh, which is cool. Um, these guys are facing this way, though, and that would suck. Um, and, oh, wow, there's a huge ocean over here, and then there's, like, this little island. That's actually kind of awesome. Would not find mind uh, <clears throat> even playing this just, like, against the AI. Or something along those lines, but looks looks like it's taking a while for the Russians to spawn. So, um, looks like we're probably gonna have plenty of time in order to bring up all of our um, our important cannons, and we have more than enough to spawn our tanks. Um, so probably gonna want our machine gun to be over here. Yeah, just bring all of our tanks over here. Um, this tank will be probably very good at anti-tank, being honest, better than it is inf anti-infantry, purely because of the fact that it's fast and can, uh, purely because of the fact that it's fast and has flames. Um, it'll probably be great at anti-infantry, do not get me wrong, uh, but at the same time it's probably going to be way too good at taking out tanks as well. Um, so this engineer is just showing up here, can you help him? Nope, not quite yet. Um, since they are just arriving, and we do have another LMG squad that we will be holding in reserve back here, just as always, uh, and that marks the last thing that we are able to spawn, so we only have to work with the troops that we have now. Um, does it have a machine gun on it at all? It does. Okay, perfect. Uh, looks like it has... Uh, let's see how... It does not have many flames on it, I can tell you that much. Um, so I'm probably going to do is have it uh, I guess we could have it just about right here, because I don't want it firing its flames um, more than it really has to, if I'm being completely honest with you. Because there's too much risk that it'll burn buildings and uh, the buildings around it and stuff like that and end up killing all the infantry. Um, so here's a one ammo box. Um, here are two men, uh, three men actually, um, holding up a nice little defensive position. Uh, let's see here. We can try holding a nice de defensive position right on over here. Um, oh boy, here they come. Um, so we have our T-70 right here. In order to take out light targets, we have our little flame tank. It is uh, almost prepared to uh, take out... I already hear vehicles. Um, and this is our... Uh, this is our light cannon. Um, We'll still try to use it, and let's see here. This is our T70. Oh, T70s can drag can drag our cannons along as well. Um, oh well, there we go. Here we go, boys, and so it begins. First things first, we got a T34. Um, took out the one of the crew, and just a couple more hits, and it will be down. This is a uh, two-tier tank. So try to get a flame, uh, try to get anti-tank grenade on that as soon as possible. Um, just try to throw one because if we can salvage it, that's a huge lifesaver. There we 
go. Not that good, sir. And it is turning its side to us, which is a very strange choice. Um, if I'm being honest. Wow! Okay. Um, I think that tank is very dead now. Um, can't quite decide if I'm being honest. There's a BA-10. Um, I can see that being extremely annoying if we are not careful uh, at all given times with it. Um, there we go. There we go. And two tankmen dead. And B10 is down. Uh, hasn't even had time to spawn, though. I wish that this would not be so. Um, so. So uh, inclined to fire, but it's in a great position, if I'm being honest. Um, so I'll have the ammo crate move over here to take it out as swiftly as possible. Up here comes our first contact. Um, with the enemy. Get our medics here. Uh, what I'm going to do probably is uh, send my FT over here uh, because it needs the uh, they need the support, if I'm being honest. Um, oh boy, here they come. Oh well, and that is our scout section dealing with uh, a lot of contact in which I was, where, where I wasn't expecting them to spawn uh, at all. Uh, which seems to be the elements that they always have is the element of surprise. Um, so let's get these men a little bit more sorted now that I know uh, where they're coming from. Um, let's uh, get these men sorted out in their little foxholes, get these men more spread out. Um, there we go, perfect. And then we have a uh, anti uh, looks like an artillery cannon of some kind. Um, what I'm actually probably going to do is I'm going to send these men out to try to deal with that anti-tank, uh, an the artillery cannon rather, um, and deal with it uh, as much as possible because that will be devastating to our lines uh, as far as I am aware. Um, let's see, where's that thing at? Oh wow, it's way over here. Oh, they're both way over here. Um, so I wish to take care of this now rather than later uh, because they're going to be devastating to our lines. Um, they're spawning more stuff now. Um, well, they've just got so much here right now. Um, seems like this is the main event over here. Um, so let's get a let's get a get a flame grenade over there right now. Um, that is the main concern is just flaming these all completely. Um, that is, uh oh, they're turning, you better turn fast, you better turn fast, better turn fast, better turn fast, better turn fast, better turn fast. there we go, uh oh, there we go, and the grenade goes off, kills all the artillery men, um, this man is still alive, though. Uh, how? Did, oh, were you? You were only knocked unconscious, weren't you? Huh? Um, uh, uh, grenade, grenade, grenade. Uh, no, nope. you don't worry about that. Pull out your rifle, my good sir, and you hold the line like you have never before. Um, so now they are kind of attacking from this weird angle over here. Um, ooh, who are you? Oh, it's my little scout thing. Uh, I'll be using you over here, if you don't mind. Get them things, those things moving as much as possible. Um, try to make sure that this remains in unmanned as much as possible. Uh, this stuff at least. So, light AT gun, wow. Uh, I don't know what I could do with this other than literally just take the ammo out of it. Uh, let's see. Or that, or I could have him man the, uh, let's see. Probably gonna have him hop on this. And then hit the, uh, hit these guys. There we go. Now we have a mortar, um, that they no longer need or have access to. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, oh, they have a flamethrower. That's no bueno. Uh, trying my hardest not to have anything 
uh, up on the front line, but might need to send up the, uh, the good old flame tank because they have nothing up here anymore. Uh, what is this? Oh, they got our mortars. Um, they're slowly overrunning this position uh, over here. Um, there's something significant up on that road. Um, right now, though, it's not worth it. That medic can't get up there quick enough to uh, take out those men, those poor men. Um, Yep, gonna call on this uh, reserve now. Glad I had it. Um, so, oh boy, that is that is definitely that is a that is a lot. Um, there we go. Yep, I'm gonna try to come up behind all these men and hit them from behind. Uh oh. Yeah, there we go. Only took uh, only took a minute for that to happen. Kind of suspected it, but whatever. Um, try to light as many many of these men on fire. Uh, tank is completely uncrewed now. Now that 45 is going to be extremely annoying to deal with. Now I have no idea where it's at. things at. Oh wow, that is just so, that is a lot. Um, where's my mortar at? Uh, let's do fire ground over here. Oh, push you not close enough. Mortar's not close. And uh, these men are just getting ripped apart. Um, but these guys are getting ripped apart by the machine gun. Thank God. Um, sadly. I'm not really working out very well for them right now. Just an overwhelming amount of infantry at this point. So it's just an infantry uh, protect uh, spam protection at this point. Uh, I'm gonna call up the other half of this now. Of this uh, stuff over here to these four men. Uh, to this defense now. Let's see. Um, I saw it briefly. Got the FT, so they're taking these positions very rapidly. Um, track broken. There you go. There you go. Let's see if I can't take that out with uh, with a uh, mortar. Of course, you're not close enough. Um, there's so much man up in the middle. Uh, engine on fire. Oh my word. Yeah, driver killed. Yeah, taking in all my tanks with like just like a it's just like a 45, 45 millimeter. Um, gonna back this poor man up because now they've got a hill advantage over us. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to hold by uh, this one point. So we're about halfway through, and oh my word. Who are you? Oh, you're just a tank man. Just a mere tank man. Um, I feel terrible, but... I guess it's cool. Oh, actually, you know what? Come over here, my Mr. Tank Man. Actually, you stay there. And Mr. Tank Man... Oh, there we go. AT Cannon is doing extremely well. Uh, they're right inside. There you go. Hopefully that killed any of the damn rescues that were getting too close. I just need to hit the center like crazy. Let's see how are the oh the Russians are approaching on our flank now. Uh, doesn't seems like they kind of need reinforcements over there. Um, let's get this built up as quick as possible. Um, let's see, you can point over this direction now. Um, that is a vehicle of some kind, dead center on the road. Let's see if he's got this guy can take care of it. That is a Valentine. Very good armor. If I hit it enough, I could possibly take it out. There you go, it is tracked. And well, I'll be dead here shortly, probably. Um, 
Um, but yeah, that 45 millimeter really took me out. Try to see if I can't glance a side shot off or something like that. Um, still dealing, I mean, good, pretty good on ammo right now. Oh my word, that's just so much in center right now. That is just a lot, a lot of bull crap. And how these guys hop off their little, uh, little ammo crate. And have, oh, my uh, mortar was targeted because the AI can spawn five different places, uh, which is kind of bull crap. They do not spawn on their side of the map. They just kind of spawn wherever they want to. Let's see if I can't try to get like a shot and then mantle the turret. Uh, let's see if I can't glance a shot off the ground. Oh, that did, certainly did something. Shook the whole uh, tank. Uh, the tank is probably beyond damaged right now. That is a huge problem. Um, Alright, all right, my friend, my uh, friend Ryan Solomon really recommended this, this to me, but this cannon, let's see how well it does. Wow! One shot. Um, uh, come on. There we go. Tank is down. Um, Alright. Kill those guys. Get those machine guns going. Try to uh, take down these men now as spam pushing us. We are now 700 points through. Uh, we should be a-okay. Um, let's have these little scout guys hop off their little, uh, little machinery thingy, doohickey thing that they got. Um, little weird thingy. Uh, these men are all down now, um, this front line. Uh, I can possibly try to call up this medic to work on them. Uh, I don't know how lucky I will be though. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see, let's use some H, try to use some HG. Let's see. Uh, there we go, that man's down. down and oh wow that guy threw a perfect perfect grenade in there uh, have two of these guys hop off try to provide some kind of uh, cover there we go. Uh, try to get these guys to provide some kind of cover there we go. They are still spawning more, but we're about 800 points through now. Um, holding firm. Trying to hold firm. That absolute onslaught. We've killed 115 of them. AI defenders still doing better. Uh, and they've only killed about uh, 30 of my men. Um, that's sad. Uh, try to... No, that's, that's a lost cause. I can't have the medic come over here yet. Uh, enemy bomber. Expect air attack on the next phase. Um, oh my god! So I think I think this this an, I think this is anti-air here. Uh, I don't know I don't know if that's supposed to do anything really. Um, but I but I hope to hope to have some kind of way to counter it uh, eventually. Oh, destroyed. Kinda, kinda waiting for. I'm just gonna move all of my stuff out of the way, I guess. Uh, yep. Get off, get off, get off. Run, run for your lives, boys. Run for your lives. I think this is the bomber here. Gotta get the hell out of dodge. Yep, there's where the bomber is. And it destroyed. So much of my stuff, but thank God it was not that tank. That tank was, or my last hope was, or is, I guess, right now. 
Um, we're still going very successfully though. Job kicking me out because I, unlike uh, many people, <coughs> are a master at defense. Still, we got my medic. Um, let's see here. Let's get, let's get back on this machine gun. Am I able to get back on this machine gun? Uh, there we go. Machine gun's incredibly important. All right, approaching about 900 points now. Um, holding firm. I don't think there's gonna be any more tanks. Um, but so far. Just a ton of infantry just stuck inside this point. The infantry flood is a term I like to call. As soon as they take a point, they just flood the crap out of it, so it makes it even harder to take it back. Uh, if we're even lucky, we could probably take this position back. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Seems like it's mostly just infantry at this point. But we are slowly, slowly being pushed back. I don't think they'll be able to win in time. This tank is holding a little bit too strong. I don't know what to do anything about. Uh, sadly, I lost a lot of men and had medics for them, but couldn't do anything to win in time. Uh, makes me feel very bad for the men who fought diligently. There is a tier 2 tank over here. We actually killed a T 34. Uh, it's the second one. Holy cow. That is the second T-34 that has been lit completely on fire and explored by the coastal artillery. Ryan Solomon, you are a Finnish hero. This medic is fighting on the front line. Um, holy cow. Uh, let's get a medic. Let's get a rifle for this little medic guy because he will need it. Um, that coastal artillery is shredding their, these guys' lines. Let's see here. All right, let's switch to your rifle, my good sir. And you, next, are my next defender. Um, I want to say there's almost no guys left. If there is none, there's a lot I need to capture. Is that a little... <laughs> That's all they have. All the Russians can do is send a motorbike at me. This guy has eight vehicle kills, and he's only been around... These guys have only been around for one or two rounds. What about eight vehicles. Um, let's see here. This guy is not going to prevail, sadly. Oh, wow, I'm actually hitting the ground more than I am anything else. That did not shut him up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh. Wow. They are still spawning more. Wow. Um, there's a lot more than I thought there was. The horses are still running around. That's actually kind of funny. Um, still a bunch of high explosive shots. Um, there we go. That makes things a little bit better. Try to direct fire a couple of these guys with a... Uh, I think I took a tank shot. And, or a... Uh, there you go, kill them. Uh, I want to see how much I can outlast this one, just this one little round here. See if I can't salvage anything, salvage anything, because there are those little AT cannons that are out there and stuff like that. Um, I want to see if I could just take them at this point. Um, actually, one of these little scout guys died. So what I want to do is I want to try to take those little, uh, the little artillery cannon that's out here. Um, Let's see what's out here. Uh, I know. Holy cow! That is not good. Um, I want to see if I can't take this out. If I'm being honest. I'm totally. I'm positive I can. Um, but I might be a little bit sketchy. Uh, I just want to take these little. I just want to take these artillery cannons, and sell them for money. Money money um, it'll be a little bit and then ooh crap that's a lot of guys let's uh, let's f let's finish and get the hell out of here 
Um, holy cow! Before that, that that triple that triple tier is probably gonna wipe us. Was probably gonna wipe us out. We were kind of almost on our last legs there. We were still fighting really hard. If it came at that coastal artillery, oh boy, it would have been. They would have had to at some point, and it would have been over for them. So massive shout out to Annoyed Bipolar, and I think. Uh, and definitely Ryan Solomon for recommending those engineers. They finally came in handy, and oh man, were they... they those T-34s didn't even amount to anything. They were just kind of like, eh, you know what? They're dead now. Um, so almost 200 casualties for them, and six vehicle losses for them. I lost about four, but uh, I don't think any of them actually died, died. Um, but I did lose one of those massive cannons that I was very, uh, very proud of. But you know what? That gives us room to buy another one. Um... So we got three research points. Holy cow, we get we doubled our little point system and we got tons of ammo. Not even worry about ammo anymore. Uh, we did lose one medic, but this ri this medic sure did prove himself rifleman. Oh, he's got a little mustache too. That's actually awesome. Heavy engineers did not take any losses, but did get veterancy veterancy seven for taking out those in for taking out those bad guys. This guy's even got a little spare helmet on him. That's actually really funny. Um, and this assault squad lost about half its members, uh, and then I lost uh, my scouts as well. But my scouts did very well in telling me, "Oh, hey, they are coming." Uh, this, these guys, definitely. Uh, he has a very high le veterancy level, but doesn't share it with these guys. Um, they did take one loss. Um, sadly, one of these men did die. Uh, but, however, oh, these guys fell apart. I didn't even know. Um, these guys fell apart. Did not do much. These guys, the defenders. Um, did not amount to much. This uh, FT, uh, the crew did survive, did end up going into um, this bad boy right here, which was awesome. Uh, in about 900 points, we were able to repair absolutely everything. Um, so we're going to go ahead and resupply and redo everything that we possibly can. And yeah, that's that's awesome. We got our flame tank back, uh, our T-70. Uh, only lost one crew. It only has two crew members. I didn't even know that. Um, uh, one of its crew members did die, but I was able to repurpose the other crew member. Um, so we have about 1,400 points left. I'm not too sure what to buy, so if you guys liked the video, please be sure to uh, to drop a like, leave a comment, which you want to see me to research next, and then also make sure to uh, to subscribe to the channel if you like what you see, if you like my little uh, series. I know my last one got about 100 views, which is awesome. No comments though, but five likes, which is so makes me so happy makes me makes me glad i'm doing my little youtube thing makes me want to stay in it so thank you guys so much for watching and well i'll see you guys next time Bye bye